He writes of the elements and humours and geometry, gems, metals, salts and colour pigments. The Middle Ages set you adrift in an ocean of ideas which glow like phosphorescent plankton on its moody surface. It is another time where the clock ticks slowly with no end but the millennium. A clock of days, not seconds, in which an illuminator had time on his hands. They built as in revelations, in jasper and jacinth, emerald and sardonyx, and lived like the swallows that flew from the dark into the light of the mead hall. To understand the passion for gem-like colour, look at the illuminated manuscripts. The passing centuries rubbed the colour off old walls, but in the manuscripts hidden from the light that creates and destroys, you can see colour bright as the day it was laid down by the illuminator. In the chalky world of Dulux and the colour chart, you remember colour was once bright and precious. There is not a drop of vermilion or ultramarine congealing today in these rusty cans. If the scarlet whore of Babylon was painted with these house paints, you would not notice her, but in a book of hours, she would flame like the sunset. <laughs>